Hannah from New Zealand Stitch Bird here. Today I'm talking about my Auckland Big Fashion Fabric Haul. Um, very exciting. I went to about four fabric stores and probably a couple that I wouldn't normally go to. So that's what I really got time for. So I'm going to go through the fabric that I bought today and what I'm intending to make with it. So first up was Ribbon Rose. And if I'm looking down, I'm looking at my list. Ribbon Rose um, was a bit of a surprise for me. Um, I've been there before, but they've just recently moved and they've got three stories. And I'll put a couple of pics up here. It was really exciting. I went in and the first floor was mostly wool. And I thought, oh, I wonder where the fabrics are. And I didn't realize there was another two stories. The second floor was all paper crafting and the top four was fabrics and to my surprise not only did they have quilting fabrics they had um, fashion dress fabrics as well which was really cool and some fabrics that um, I've been looking for but haven't been able to find in Christchurch uh, particularly uh, stretch fabrics and I did buy one wee piece to make a top uh, it is a stretch viscose and I just really love the colour I'm going to pair it with some navy and white stripe and I'm going to make the Rockford Raglan. I'll put the pick up here for you so you can see the pattern. So I love Notions pattern. I've made it lots and lots of times and because I've got the special fabric I really wanted to make a top that I had made before and I think it will look really nice with the navy and white stripe sleeves. I probably will do the band version, which means it will have a band around the hip and there will be a navy and white stripe as well. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do, but that's my plan for that piece. Uh, 150 millimetres wide. Whoopsie. And yeah, quite value for money. I think it was about $23 a metre, something like that. Very happy with that purchase. So that was my first port of call. My second port of call was a fabric that I've bought, um, well a store that I've bought from online before, Draper's Fabrics, and they offer a really good shipping service, uh, so I've bought quite a bit, so I really wanted to go into the store, because it's nothing like going into the store and having a look at all the fabrics. So what I've chosen first off, and I was looking for, is a stretch navy. It's sort of slightly heavier, but it does have, I'll put the camera up to, put it close up to the camera, I don't really be able to see it. It's sort of got like a wee lacy feature to it. Now I'm really wanting to make sort of a trans-seasonal piece with this. Uh, and I've decided to make a sort of slightly longer cardigan from it, sort of a hip length. And uh, the pattern I've chosen is a free pattern. And I've made it before and it sews up beautifully. It's the Sinclair stretch cardigan called Harper Cardigan. And it is really nice and it has pockets. We all need pockets, especially this time of the year. To carry around bits and pieces. So that is what I'm going to use for this. So hopefully that works out well. And I'll put the picture up there for you as well. Right, so the next thing was a little bit different. Something I wouldn't normally buy because I prefer to buy natural fibres, but it was this really cool um, organza tartan. It's quite see-through. So I was thinking, mm, don't normally buy things like this because it means that you've got to wear something underneath it. So my plan is to uh, make a shirt. And I'm going to make a, probably a white camisole to wear underneath. But it's got a really cool pattern. Unfortunately, this is only, I think, 115 centimetres wide. So I did have to buy a little bit more for pattern matching. So the pattern I'm going to make with this is also a pattern I've made quite a few times before. It's the Love Notions Aria Button Down. And it can be a dress or it can be a shirt. So I think that that will be quite cute as a wee shirt to wear with jeans, maybe a denim skirt, that kind of thing. So I thought that would be really cool. The next piece I wouldn't normally buy either, but I really like. I'm really into checks and tartans at the moment. Very popular in the stores. This is a chiffon. 
I thought I could use this as a layering piece and my plan is to make a peasant top and again I've got a free pattern Melly sews, so I'll put the link um, down below and I'll put a picture up here as well but I just thought it would gather up really nice and it would look nice with black jeans black skirt and probably also nice under my red jacket that I'm wearing at the moment. This is the um, Metro Blazer by Love Notions. So that's my plan for this. Don't normally enjoy sewing this type of fabric, but it is a very simple pattern. So I think that that will work out quite well. So that was the next one. And I treated myself to a bit of a pattern book. And I chose to buy it because... The patterns are a wee bit different. This is the book here. Tolko, I think it's um, pronounced, I'm not sure. Uh, in the back, you have all your pattern pieces. And I probably will trace them off using some of the lightweight violin that you can get. And I'll trace off the one that I want. I won't be cutting it up. But the patterns are... I think they're pictured at the back, all the different views that you get. So I think you get about, what is it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, about 12 patterns in the book. It comes with the making instructions. And the, I, what I liked about it actually is there's some really good sizes. They're quite big sizes. I think, I'm just reading from my notes here. Um, they go from, I think, about a 32 right up to about a 50, here we go, 31 up to a 58 inch bust. So that's pretty generous sizing. And all the um, picks are really cool. Let's show you pictures of the finished um, garments. So, as I said, I treated myself to it and I thought, let's give this a go. It could be fun. Haven't got any fabric for this yet, so I thought I would have a wee read. I'm not sure how often they come out. It was $53, but picking that there's that many patterns is actually not too bad, and it's quite inspiring as well. So that was from Drapers as well. Moving on. Had to catch a bus, and it was a little bit tricky because some of the train stops weren't uh, working in Auckland. And I did cheat a wee bit, I got a few Ubers, but that's okay. Honey was up there a short time. So the next stop was Mount Albert, Smart Dress Fabrics. Interesting store. They're not online, unfortunately, that I'm aware of, but you could probably ring up. Anyway, I got this amazing navy stretch, and it's quite a heavy one. And it is going to be my new navy metro blazer, same blazer that I'm wearing now. It's going to make up beautifully, so I'm really wrapped with that. Then I decided these were so cheap, I couldn't resist them. A couple of navy and wool suitings, or navy and camel wool polyester suitings. So you got the, the uh, warmth of wool, but the anti-crinkling or wrinkling creasing of the polyester. I would imagine these will be a couple of pairs of pants. I might just stick with my tried and true, which is the Allegro. But there's another pattern I want to try, which is, and I've written it down here, the Sewing Rival, Sewing Revival, and it's actually the Classic Pant. May even try that. Not sure yet. May not even get them made up this um, winter. We'll see. So that was the next. And the next thing was a wee bit different. This is like an eyelet embroidery on glaze and he had it so reasonably priced I think it was about seven dollars a meter and how wide is it I think it's only 115 yeah he had this in all different colored ways I kind of wish I bought all the colors a beautiful apple green sort of a deeper sort of emeraldy green an orange all different colours and it's cotton so I'm really wrapped about this I do wear quite a bit of red so I thought this will be really cool I'll go with my navies I'll go with my whites uh, and you know you mix and match with any neutral so I think it'll be quite cool so my plan for this one is another sewing revival pattern 
and it's the flounce dress and tank so it's going to have a wee flounce around the neck so I think that will be quite pretty hopefully we'll give it a go right moving on to the next store the fabric warehouse at Mount Eden the first piece I'm not sure whether I'll get it made up this year I'm not sure whether I'm really needing any more merino tops but I just couldn't resist this because it was a slightly different colorway to what I've seen before sort of a, a beige and khaki stripe potentially I might do could be another um, Rockford Raglan both love notion patterns or I could go outside the square and there's um, another one called the Lincoln and it's got buttons on it I thought hmm that could be quite cute so I'll put some of those patterns up there see what you think would work well the Lincoln is a wee bit boxier but then I don't think it really matters in winter when we wear slightly boxier clothes because we're wearing layers anyway so anyway nice merino stripe stretch next one was a cotton sateen and I don't know why I liked it but I just thought it was quite cute I think with a neutral background and the wee flowers on it and again because I wear quite a bit of navy I thought it would look good with my jeans even um, jean skirt I think this one's going to be a wee summer short sleeve shirt and then I could use it as a layering piece I could wear it open with a tank top underneath maybe you know in the dark navy part or even get one this color I think it would look quite cute and it's quite nice for you to have pieces that you can use multiple ways and I could probably tuck it in or wear it out so that will be another aria button down but the short sleeve version is what I'm planning for for that piece lucky last this is another I think this is just a cotton and I really again liked the wee stripe on it but with the floral on the top it's quite see-through it would have been nice if it was a wee bit thicker however I'm thinking about making a wee mini shirt dress or something like that what else did I have written down for this uh, itch to, or an itch to stitch Le Mont top sorry aria button downs love notions itch to stitch Le Mont top so we'll just say it will either be a top or a wee dress but I would have to wear a slip underneath and I'm not keen on that to be honest on the summer because it gets hot enough it is, as it is but we'll see uh, if it was a button down and it was like a shirt dress then again I could wear it as a wee duster but it's very pretty I guess because we're in winter at the moment it's sort of hard to imagine um, what we might be wearing in the summer I also like the fact that this had the wee mustard um, centre and I do have a mustard cardigan so I thought that could look quite cute with it denim jacket would look nice with it so I thought it had plenty of potential and it feels nice even though it is a wee bit thinner so we'll see what we can come up with that not really fixed on what I'll make with that so that was my big fabric haul I did take an empty bag just as well I'd like to go back especially to Ribbon Rose I really liked how they had their fabrics arranged and Draper's Fabrics were my two favourite stores. I really enjoyed visiting those. It's nothing like visiting them in person, even though you buy online. My next video that I'm planning to do next week is on the Rockford Raglan. And hopefully I'll have either that top that I was talking about either made up or partly made up. But I have plenty of others to show you. And I am thinking about doing a sew along with the Rockford Raglan. So I'll see how I go with that. Um just time restraints thanks for joining anyway today and I really recommend going to another city to do some fabric shopping it was a lot of fun until next time thanks for joining me goodbye